football a lot. He may throw it a lot. <laughs> yeah, he didn't eat it there. He slings it out to Tyree McCants on the screen. And he works to the fourth. And a kid now, he's a much more mature guy than he was back at Alabama. Penalty marker thrown. Barnett has enough for the first down, but we'll check the flag. A difficult journey, and he's here at South Florida trying to chase his NFL dream. Barnett throws an interception. Tariq Carpenter. Back, not seeing the underneath coverage. He assumes that there's no one lurking in that curl flat area, and instead, is he simply comes on down low, and Barnett doesn't recognize it. He still think he's throwing into a three deep coverage and doesn't see Carpenter in the hole. He comes off the field and Duran Bell checks in. Barnett incomplete looking for Mitchell back on the field today. Duran Bell also making his college football debut today. Barnett looking for Darnell Solomon tackled to injure I, a player. I hear you, but look. McCants on the screen. He's got the first down. The, the target. Quiet down. Fourth and goal. Barnett throws inside, and it's dropped by Darnell Sutton. That defensively, and that they're trying to rub off the inside guy, and there you see. The intel in it hasn't really thrown it much here today. Play action. Good catch made by Mitchell Wilcox for a first down. Jordan Cronkite back in the game for South Florida. Barnett out of the pocket with a shifty maneuver. Has the first down. Need coverage. Keep in mind, he is an experience making start only number three. Looking for the freshman St. Felix there. Yeah, Q, uh, great point. Second and ten. Underneath to McCants. Able to slip the tackle of Brent. Barnett showing off the mobile mobility. Using the legs again. Has the first down. Pulled at halftime for Jalen Hurts. Ended up leaving the team at the end of the month. Darnell Solomon gets to the end zone. Underneath stuff that we've seen to his receivers. He's had to move around in the pocket a lot, too. The Tampa native Kyle Fowler on the sideline in between that. Yep. Not sure how that correlates, but interesting to note. A Barnett, nothing there, and it's Kyle Serge Hender of his family are in attendance today question is when does the ball come out after he touches the ground I or before the, I looks like that down knee there. is down yeah. yep yep so he'd be down yep good call Parker Braun was getting a talking to after that play their excellent left guard Barnett on the move again it'll be third Won it seven times already today. He'll throw past the sticks, and he's got the first. Play fake. Barnett, deep shot, has St. Felix, and it's to wear during workouts. And the rest of the time during games, he's got that tape ring. And he's been running a lot today. He picks up. What to do when your career goal is to get to the NFL, and you need to chase that dream. Ooh, a little miscommunication there. Nice is that there's a balance of commitment to the team and your own personal goals. Facing a blitz from Georgia Tech here. Escapes Marshall. Breaks another tackle and then gets popped at the 30-yard. Two national title winning coaches tonight. Barnett under pressure. Second half. So let's see how aggressive Take they are here. Barnett's going to throw. He's got McCants. Bit of an impactful moment with the weather and the humidity. Well, you can take a shot here if you're South Florida. Barnett will. 
He's got St. Felix out there, and it's incomplete. <laughs> hey, man, you're in better shape than me. Blake Barnett back to work. Connects with McCants as we check in with... 1-7 in the second. Back to you. Das, thanks so much. Blake Barnett still limping a little bit. McCants gets a nice block from St. Felix on the perimeter, springing him into Georgia Tech. Particularly for a small defensive back. Barnett connects with St. Felix. Coming off the... Of course, they've got some good memories of uh, Chucky here in Tampa. His name in the ring of South Florida is based on it. It does spread the field. How about the hands from St. Felix there? Hart Browse at Baylor. Oh, he had McCants open. A Georgia Tech rushing four, but it forces Barnett to run. Something that Nate Woody, third down and five. Blitz from Georgia Tech. They set it up underneath for Cronk. Quarterback, if he has a shot at taking over that job going forward. Barnett slings it out for Solomon. Near the sticks. Kelly Bryant. One of those two quarterbacks for Clemson. Quick strike over the middle, and he's got Wilcox for the first down. The, the ball carrier was in the grass, and he took a shot at him. Quick throw to the outside for Horn. Touchdown, Terrence Horn. How about the first time Blake Barnett took a snap in a college uniform? Two years and three schools later, trying to lead a go-ahead drive for South Florida. And he's got the first down with his legs out near the 40-yard. Thinking. He recognizes right away that there is nothing in front of him. No need to have that first down and gets out of bounds. To the outside, incomplete for St. Felix. Blake Barnett over the course of the last two years since he decided to transfer from Alabama. Blake addressed that candidly. He finds Tyree McCants for a first down into Georgia Tech territory. For the job, Charlie Strong pulled every member of the defensive coaching staff first, and Blake Barnett was their choice. And he is the choice. And I want to be a good teammate. Barnett looking for his teammate. Solomon broken up. Excellent shot. Adam Amin, Rod Gilmore, Quint Kessnick. Fun one. 541 left. Second down for Barnett and the Bulls. Tunnel screen. Tyree McCants. Big boy towards the red zone. Barnett keeps. Has it only. Bulls take the lead. Fourth down and one. Barnett throws to McCants on the screen, and he's got the first down. <laughs> Barnett. Exclamation point, Blake Barnett. Who knew that Blake Barnett's legs would be a bigger story than his arm today? <laughs> you know, this might be 